Oh, oh, wait, where are we? Oh, uh, right. We're in a cave full of children. That sounds way worse when I say it out loud. Hey guys, Boney McBonaton here, and welcome back to Fallout 3, episode 85. In this episode, we're gonna sell a ton of shit. Or actually, I got a better idea. We'll just drop it off in this cave. In this dark, dank cave full of kids. Seriously, I gotta pick better words for that. So let's see, drop that, drop that, 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 that. Eh. Apparel. Apparel, um. I forgot to equip apparel. God, stop it, okay? Just, ugh. Eat all the food. What can we drop for miscellaneous? Scrap metal. Poison glands. And that's about it. Alright. And that fell in the water. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Let's go to Vault 87. First, let's find that kid and get away in. I doubt he's just gonna hand it over. There goes one child. Oh wait, hold on, this is where another child is sleeping. Oh god, it's Zip. I am not a big fan of Zip. He wants all of my Nuka-Cola, and I want to use it for explosives instead. No, that's another sleeping area. Jesus, I feel like I'm exploring a Ted Bundy's a secret underground cave. Empty locker. Oh yeah, I think this is the way. Ah! Excuse me. Uh, sorry. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, we forgot to read this. We're all okay. If you can call being stuck in a cave with 82 terrified kids okay. Alive, anyway. I don't know what the hell we're going to do. It's been four days. Claudia went out this morning to look around and never came back. Then Mr. Cobb went out to look for her. And he never came back. So now there's only me, two other teachers, two of the parents who were chaperoning, and a few of the cavern staff. All these poor kids. We've got enough food and water to last for a while, I guess. But after that, I just don't know. We can't stay in here forever. Can we? Well, apparently you could. Yo, McCready. Look, I don't just let any son of a bitch in my town. I'm taking a risk making an exception for you. So you're welcome in my town. At least until you start screwing up. Once that bullshit starts, you're out on your own again. Hold on. I'm not planning on starting any trouble. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. I've heard a lot about the fungus in your cavern, and I'd like to make a deal. Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the fungus in my cavern. <laughs> but yeah, the cave fungus, sure. It's good for food and medicine, and it's the main fucking reason we've stayed alive down here. So, you want a slice of that gray-green gold, huh? I think maybe we could come to an arrangement. What are you offering? Hmm... <laughs> I could be mean. I'll bring you- I'll bring in needed supplies, and I get some of the fungus in return. Well, it'd lighten the load for our scab team a lot. Since you're pretty much one of us, here's the deal. For every piece of strange meat, or buff out you bring in, you'll be repaid with one cube of fungus. You couldn't ask for a better deal. Talk with Eclair for the strange meat, or to Lucy about the buff out. 
they've got uses for them. All right. I'll be going now. That's right. And don't come back. All right. See you in Fallout 4. Yo, princess. Hey, new kid. I don't know if anyone told you yet, but let me set the record straight. I'm princess. When you're around me, I'm in charge. You shut up and do what I say, because I'm boss around here. That clear? Now, who are you? Did you just try to give me orders? That's cute, little princess. Oh, you'll listen to me. Otherwise, I'll have my good pal RJ kick you out of the town. Or better yet, lock you in the vault. So don't push me, new meat. Just nod and move on, and I think we'll get along just fine. Hmm. I really need to get into Vault 87. Do you know the way? We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask the Mayor if you really want to know. Ah, uh, fine, alright. So how did someone like you get a nickname like Princess? I don't need to explain myself to you, Mungo. Shut up and get lost. In fact, don't you ever bother me about something as stupid as nicknames again. Okay, sheesh. I'm leaving. Go back to guarding. Well, thank goodness you gave me permission, jerk. I could literally use you as a club. Just think about that. Yo, McCready. Get back here. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you give me directions? What do I look like, your tour guide? Yeah, fair enough. See you around, McCready. Yeah, sure, whatever. So, he didn't give me permission, so, uh, I'm talking to you again. Well, if it isn't the Magnificent Mungo, what now? Um... Really, no, no directions? Ram. What's it like guarding the back gate? It's so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore, so I never get to shoot anyone. I wish I was at the front gate, but RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which could have included you, Mungo. Shooting at me would have been a big mistake, kid. Oh really? That's a cute little imagination you've got. But if you want to play make-believe, maybe you should do it with the younger brats. Well thank goodness you- Later. So do I just like, jump over or? Okay, apparently I can't squeeze through this little hole. Uh, fine. I guess we're on our own figuring this out. How do I have to solve your- How do you keep this place organized? Organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy. I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all stay here forever, so we've all got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here. And the occasional ruthless little bastard like me makes sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. Hmm. Huh. So how did you get in charge in the first place? It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. Of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. You said everyone has to leave eventually? People change when they grow up, and we don't trust Mungo's living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. Kids who grow up fighting and surviving in Lamplight are better trained for the world out there than idiots who are pampered by grown-ups outside. That's all I need to know. About time. I have to go. That's right. And don't come back! I probably will. Just in ways you will not expect. Wait a minute. What the? I don't remember. Nothing. Keep out, not part of tour. Wait a minute. 
Is this a way into Vault 87? I think it is! <laughs> no way! Oh, there's blood. Well, screw you, toddlers. I'm getting in. Terminal's not pow. Of course, you know, why would it be? That would have just made things way too easy. Alright, guess we're going back. Hmm. Haven't been this way yet. So that was a great chamber, so let's go up here. Oh, hold on. Sorry, kid. Bumble. Murder pass. I wonder... No, you're knock-knock. Ooh. I thought the game crashed for a second there. Yo, what up, knick-knack? Anything you'd like to get off your hands? Um... Let's see, uh... Let's trade. Sure thing, pal. Special deals for us kids. And easy peasy. Always a grab bag with my stuff, see? Can you give me directions? Where to, man? I'm looking for Vault 87. Can you help me find it? You can only get there through Murder Pass, and we keep guards there to keep the little kids out. But if you want to have a look, it's north of the souvenir shop. Okay, thanks. Okay. Well, that's all for me. Come on back when you got more stuff to trade. Alright, cool. Thanks. So, murder pass, huh? Hey, so that explains that sign. Just push these barrels out of the way, and I think we're here. Wait a fucking minute. Oh, come on. We're back here. Watch it. I've heard of you. You're one of the good guys. Oh, well, uh, thank you. Um, I'll be back. Well, thank goodness. Yeah, 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 you weenie child. Come on. Hello? Well, here's something I don't see every day. A new face and little lamplight. A bit big for one of our kids, but you seem alright. What's your story down here? Mayor McCready let me in. I don't want to cause any problems. I'm Joseph, and around here, I might as well be the old wise man. Try not to interrupt my classes, and I think we'll get along just fine. As the oldest kid in town, I spent most of my time teaching. But I do what I can to keep the kids clean and fresh-faced. If you're looking for a haircut, feel free to ask. I'll do what I can. Alright, cool. Um, What sort of education do the kids get here? Well, back at the start, all the children had were the notes from the grown-ups that hadn't left yet. And a few books on caves from the store. But after finding the vault, a few scavengers brought back holotapes for basic schooling. Reading, basic math encyclopedias, that sort of thing. We don't get many books anymore from the scav team, but I make sure to keep my own notes on the computer for whoever takes over after I leave. How thorough are your teaching materials? We entered all of the books and holotapes in the computer, but frankly, there are a lot of important subjects the Volt's material didn't cover. I could wish for more, but we're probably still the best school in the wasteland. Maybe the only school in the wasteland, really. What do you teach the kids? Mostly whatever they want to learn. We don't have strict classes or anything down here. But it does mean they're interested in what I'm teaching. But everyone learns the basics of fighting and shooting and survival. We've all got obvious reasons to be interested in that. That's all I needed to know. Glad I could help. Hey, uh, thanks. Actually, can you give me directions? I should be able to do that. I'm looking for Vault 87. You can only get there through Murder Pass, and we keep guards there. But if you want to have a look... Okay, cool, thanks. Okay. Yep, he knows nothing either. Guess we gotta just find RJ. Wherever this damn kid is. What do you know, Lucy? Watch it. Watch what? 
You're a weird child. I've heard of you. You're one of the good guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, I remember you now. Never mind. Actually, I've got Buff out to trade for fungus. Excellent. I should be able to synthesize the proteins from this into something that'll fight rickets. Here's your fungus in return. Thanks. Well, I have to go now. Later. Let's look at this cave fungus. Rads minus 10 HP 5. Okay, not bad. But we still have to find this RJ kid. I think? Hold on. What? Okay. Um, bye. Later. Smart move, Bumble. Watch Very it. smart move. Alright, so after looking through the almighty Google, I have discovered that Joseph can be found. Wanderer must have a science skill of 50 to hack the terminal to get into the vault. If Penny is not rescued, or if Joseph becomes upset through dialogue, entrance... Okay, let me just look through this further. Something ain't right here. It's one of the vault series of background. Yeah, 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 yeah. The vault entrance. Let's see. Let's see. Possible through the extensive use of Radaway. Right However, you blah, 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 blah. Access through little. Wandering by questioning Mayor McCready. It's crossing. It's like just, however, he also A little lamp light will allow direct safe route to X terminal. Speak to Joseph. Joseph can fix the broken terminal, allowing it to be hacked. If Penny has been rescued from Paradise Falls, I. Or if. <sighs> Alright, let's try this. Wait a minute. Penny, didn't we talk to that kid earlier when we first discovered Paradise Falls? Oh yeah, he looks like he's gonna talk to me. What are you hanging around here for? Never mind. Pay no attention to me. Just an obviously lost goody two shoes. Okay, now dog meat. I may go on a killing spree, so. Stay here, boy, and don't move till I get back. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I'll be right in here. It's murder time. Whoa. You guys look angry. Get your business done and go. Yeah, yeah. Scoot. You don't look like you belong here. Yeah, yeah, I get that a lot. Mainly in school. Wait a minute, this isn't the place I wanted to be. I wanted to go to the barracks and murder. Hey, how did it go with that blonde thing you brought in here? Went good. Cut it out. No. Aha. Barracks. Ugh! I think they might have been expecting me. Hold on. Wait an hour and maybe they'll Back Hey, off. how'd it go with that blonde thing Whoa. you brought in here? What the fuck was that about? You know what? I'm I'm just gonna go rescue. Please stop grunting. It, it's gross and weird. And I'm not very appreciative of it. Now let's see. If I were kids in a slave pen were Mm. What you gonna do, 40? Oh, flamer. Thank you. And a gun and a... Wait, did I drop this stuff here? I think I did. Oh, children! Papa's come for ya! Child! Children! Hmm... <laughs>
The box is locked and requires a key. Bathroom. Um. Crap. If only I actually. Oh, hey, there's one of the kids. Yo, what up? Hey, Mister. Can you get us out of here? Um. Who are you? I'm Sammy. I'm from Little Lamplight. Me and Squirrel and Penny. We aren't supposed to be here. We gotta get back home. You gotta help us get out of here. Hmm. Why would I help you? What's in it for me? Look, we're not supposed to be in here. We live in Little Lamplight. Ever heard of it? Yep, I've heard of it. But we need to get out of here and get back there. Right now. So you gotta help us, okay? How can I get you out of here? Can't you just shoot them all? Hmm. That's the best you can come up with? Don't you have any other ideas? And besides, if I get aggressive, then Clover gets aggressive, and then she can actually be killed by me. Well, I mean, Squirrel thinks maybe he could use the computer in here to turn off the collars. Squirrel's good with computers, and they don't know he made this one work again. But it's... Uh, it, it's not connected or something. Hang on. I'll get Squirrel, and he can tell you what to do. Alright. You remember that thing you asked me about? The secret thing? Really? You did? Bronson, I could kiss you! Here, hand it to me. Slowly. You're the Mungo that's helping us, huh? Yeah. Sammy says you want to know the plan. Well, listen up, Mungo. Because it's a good one. I'm super smart. Okay, tell me the whole plan. All of it. Okay, cool. You'll like it, really. It's going to work. I know it. We're stuck behind the fence here. But even if we get past the fence, and the mungos with guns, we still can't leave. They got these collars on us, right? Make us blow up if we try and get out. No way to get the collars off, so we gotta stop them from blowing up. I'm with you so far. Keep going. So I found this old terminal in the building here. Dusty, but it turns on with a little fixing. Like I said, I'm super smart. I know they use a terminal to turn the collars on and off. So if you can link the terminals, I can turn the collars off and they won't even know. Then we just gotta open the fence, sneak past the mungos with guns, and get the hell out of here. Sounds good, right? You in? Hmm. Where's the terminal I need to use? I told you. It's in the boss guy's room. You gotta sneak in there or something. That's up to you to figure out, mungo. Isn't there another way for you to get out? You're really dumb, aren't you? A little. I just told you this is the plan. I don't got another way to do this. Hmm. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Gee, thanks. Don't work too hard, okay? Hey, I'm saving you, you little brat. Wait, what are you guys doing? Did I... Did I do good? Bad idea. Damn it, Bronson. This isn't what I asked for. Yeah, I needed one of the get away from me. Not whatever this is. That isn't me. Ah, oh, shit, I'm sorry. How many times have we gone over this, Bronson? Can't you stay sober enough to do one little thing? Apparently not. No, just just give me another chance. I, I can do it. Okay, Bronson. One more. Don't mind me, gentlemen. I'll just be going. Now, let's see. Quests. No, I said quests. Connect department store computer. Ugh, come on, man. Don't be like that. Don't be weird. Crimson, let's stay down to Earth, shall we? No more daydreaming. I'm right here, Eulogy. There's no need to yell. What have Duh -duh. I said about backtalk, Crimson? <laughs> yeah, you tell Crimson that. Dud removed. Infrared. Produced. Aha! Produced was the answer! Personal restraint systems. Act. Update network connections. Oh, don't mind me. I'll be on my way. Hey, Clover. Good to see you again. Pardon me. Just gonna go beat up one of the slaves. 
All right, I got it done. Oh, what the? How did I get up here? Okay, I got it done. What's up, Mongo? You fixed that terminal yet? All done. The terminal should work for you now. All right. You're okay for a Mongo, you know that? So we're one step closer to getting out of here. Okay, great. What's next? Well, with the terminal, I can turn off the collars and open up the gate. But they're not gonna just let us walk out of here, you know? There's always at least one guard near the pen, and someone's gotta get rid of him. Since we can't just walk around like we own the place, you're gonna have to do it. You get me? How am I supposed to get rid of the guards? Man, can't you think of anything on your own? Around midnight, there's only one guard, but it's that really mean guy, Forty. Still, probably your best chance to try something. Do what you gotta do, you know. Just get him away from his post. Okay, I'm in. Okay, don't do anything stupid. Alright. And now we hide in the rubble and wait. So let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, let's try 16. I'm, I'm not too good at math. I mean, obviously, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> uh, uh, that hurts. Nine, ten, eleven, eleven, thirty-six. Only one god. Let's see what kind of weapons I've got. Combat knife, maybe. Yo, ho, forty, my man. How's it going? We got a reason to be talking. I ain't aware of. They must pay you really well to put up with a boring job. Huh? Yeah, I mean, they pay well enough, I guess. What the hell do you care? Hmm. It just seems like you do most of the work around here. Yeah, so maybe I get a raw deal sometimes. Everybody does out here. That's the way shit goes. But maybe it's time that changed. Maybe I go see Eulogy about that right now, in fact. Yep, you do that, man. I'm proud of you. Come on, go talk to Eulogy. He's gonna die. Oh well. Oh yeah, no doubt. I, I, it'll get done. So what's the deal, Mungo? Okay, the guard's out of the way. Now, uh... I took care of the guard. Is it safe to leave? Yep. Me and Sammy can get out no problem. We're good at sneaking. They'll never spot us. We can just sneak through the drain in the bathrooms. It's just big enough for us. Way too small for you, Mungos. But Penny won't leave. She's being all stupid. And even though we told her it's the only chance to go, she says she's staying. Ah, uh, I'd really love to say leave her, but we can't. What? Why won't she leave? This Mungo, Roy McLaren. She got all sweet on him or something. I don't know. It's some stupid girl thing. But they threw him in the box because he was giving them shit. And they won't let him out. So Penny says she ain't going until she knows she's safe. I told her she's stupid. So what do I do? Hell, I don't know. Go talk to her. Try and get her to get out while she can. Me and Sammy are getting out of here now, though. If you can get her to come, meet us east of here after you're out. Alright, cool. Now get out of here, you little munchkins of munchkin land. Yo, yo, Penny. You're the mongo that helped Sammy and Squirrel, aren't you? Well, I already told them I'm not going anywhere. Not without Rory. Uh. Why are you still in here? It's time to go. No, I'm not leaving while they still got Rory locked up. He's the only person that's been nice to me. I'm not just going to leave him like that. Hmm. Fine. Let's get Rory. Let's get Rory and let's get the hell out of here. I can't. If they see me out there, they'll throw me back in and then I'll never get out. You have to do it. You gotta get the key to the box. That Mungo 40, he's got one. I think the boss guy has the other one. Keeps it in his room. If you can get Rory out, come and get me, and then we can leave. I just won't leave him behind. 
Well, funny you mention that. I already know Eulogy, and I already know Forty's dead. So... Well, I mean, I don't really know. It's more of a hunch, really. I mean, come on. How could Rory not... No, I mean... Yo, Forty. You... Okay. Let's watch this, uh... Here, you guys have fun. I'm gonna go... Gonna eat that quantum. You guys have fun. Wait, in his bedroom. Hold on. Is this the bedroom? What do you like? What you see? Talk to Mr. Eulogy. Your own business. Oh, uh, I guess you could say that. Do no no no. Okay, even I have to stop doing that. Yo, forty. I'm busy, so piss off. You got business here. You talk to Eulogy. Okay. Just gonna open that up. Unlock safe. Good stuff, but not what I'm looking for. Let's see, where's that miserable key? Does Eulogy have it? Aha! Just gonna... Yeet. Now the other guy, 40, has it. Let me talk to you. If there's business you're here to discuss, I'm all ears. Hmm. No, that's too evil even for me. I have to go. Paradise Falls is here if you need it. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Forty, you seem to be broken. Allow me to just push you out of this and back into the action. Come on. What what are you doing here? Forty, don't be like this. I can just wait till you're alone and I can gun you down then and there. Oh wait, no. Mr. Eulogy wants to talk to you. God damn it, Forty, I don't pay you to sleep on the job. Look around here. Tell me what you see. What are you talking about, man? There's nothing wrong out here. Everything looks just fine to me. Nothing wrong? Have you lost your mind? You've got a loose cage over there. You got people loitering over there. And where is my dog? Okay, yeah. I see what you mean. I'll get on it right away, Eulogy. That's more like it. Show some initiative, damn it. Before I sell you off and give one of those fools in the cage your job. S uh I'm busy, so piss off. You got business here, you talk to eulogy. Anything else you wanna tell the eulogy? Anything at all? Anything I can help you with? Um Well, I mean if you could figure out a way to unbug the Hold game. On. Stay nearby. It's not cause a You know what? I'm just gonna Yes, Daddy? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What do you need? I'm just gonna Haven't push you that I hate to wait. into the other room. Why you always have to make me wait? And I'm just What's gonna you? make it I'm sorry. nice and painless. I'm painless. so sorry. Let me make it up to you. Tell me what you want. Come on, just push, push you into the other room where they won't hear your death. Where no one will hear your screaming. Come on. Into the corner. Come on. Into the dark back room with you. Oh no, you... No, no. Oh, now you want to talk to Eulogy. No, it, it's too late for that, Forty. It is far too late for that. You stay with me at all times. Yes, Daddy? I'm sorry. Here, let's try this. Oh fuck, he saw. He definitely saw. Ain't none of my business. Okay, hold on. No, 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 don't. Don't you fucking save load. Yes, load this game. We're gonna try option B. Damn right you're sorry. Look out! Whoa. 
Whoa. You were right freaking there. Woo! Look at him, God. He, yeah, you don't know what you're... You don't know what you're doing, do you? I'm just gonna... No search. Just suck him dry and let's go. Yeah, ain't none of your business indeed. You know, in hindsight, I probably could have just, you know, took the key off of him, but I don't I don't like to think that much. Oh god. All right. Well, he's food. He's warm food. No, don't don't pickpocket the child. Oh jeez, Mungo, this is crazy. We're going to run for it. You come meet us outside if you make it. All right, um Red box, listen. Uh Okay, let us hope that the stealth boy doesn't suddenly wear off. Because this guy could be pretty. Yes, you do. Much better things, indeed. Da da dun 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 Gonna run. You don't know what you're talking about. You're insane. You're all insane. Yeah, it was nothing now. Um What happens if I Okay, you cannot white wall enemies. Maybe if I stay still, they won't notice. Their vision might be dependent on movement. Ah. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, I am all out of stealth, boys. So we are just gonna creep our way out. Okay, nope. We've been discovered, boys! Okay, nope. Bounce, see, bounce. You know what? Okay, hold on, wrong weapon. Ah, uh, I didn't want to do this, but I guess it's time to go postal. Yep, you forced my hand, Sonny Jim. Oh. Now you're all becoming warm food. Even you, Carolina Red. Oh. Slaver. Nope. Basically, everyone's getting mulched. Actually, I have a better idea. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Okay, I need a lot of stim packs right now. Oh, no, you don't, buddy. Or I somehow. Oh, of, of course, there's a pole right there. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense, yeah. No. And everything's on fire. I'll wait for an hour, see what that does. Alright. We'll get dog meat, we'll get out of here. Come on, boy. Let's go, dog meat. Come on. Come on, let's move it. 
Hustle the bustle. I wonder if there's any way to get around this. There might. Gotta time the jump! I did not time the jump. Not even close. Time it! Oh, come. What the? Did you also feel bullets whizzing past your head? Because I did. Hmm, maybe we can skip. Okay, yeah, they're 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 not happy with us. Let's just uh Come on. Maybe I can sneak past. Do 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 Dog meat, shut the hell up. You're gonna ruin this. For me, you, and the swamp is. Come on. Over here. You know what? I, I am lazy, so I'm just gonna... Controls... Off. No, 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 no. Off. Hooray for cheating! Oh, hold on. Huh, that was- oh god, mouse, what are you doing? Alright. Now we'll go. Wait, now we're... Dogmeat, are you back? You know, just to be safe... Roosevelt's Academy, then we'll go back to Paradise Falls. Hopefully not in front of those guys. Southwest of Paradise Falls, okay. Okay, can we just... Hi. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, overlord, overlord, overlord. Of course there's an overlord. Why, why, why wouldn't there be? Binch. Gotcha. Oh, we need some of that ammo really badly. Now then. Okay, the reason that I didn't do that is because I did not want the, uh... The guy that gives out the mesmerizer... Mesmerizer ammo to die out. Because that's the only way you're gonna get ammo in this game. If he dies... You're stuck, oh fuck, let's go. Ben? Who are you? Okay, bye Ben. It was fun while it lasted. Seriously, who the fuck was that? Yo, 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 wait up. Get back here, kid. Come here. Thanks for getting us out of there, Mungo. We're gonna head back home now. I'd think twice about coming back here if I were you. These guys aren't going to forget you, you know. Ah, oh, fuck, you're Look right. Out. I might have screwed up a little. Alright. Well, let's head back to Little Lamplight. Again. You think by now we'd be able to get there, but apparently not. Well, 
I should end this early because we are very low on time. This has been Boney McBoneton with episode 85. Have a good day now and goodbye.